Namaskaram, here we are at Penugonda. Behind me is uh, Krishna Devaraya, one of the greatest empires that was built in India. Krishna Devaraya happens to be our forefather. It was uh, with his uh, benevolence and grace that our families moved towards uh, Chikabulapur and Devanpalli, as it was known then. And uh, they tamed this region, brought agriculture, ruled these places and went further down, right up till Madurai. But uh, he was uh, one of the greatest emperors. I think just about twenty years he ruled, but uh, his empire stretched from Assam down to Tamil Nadu. Uh, so it was a massive uh, operation and it was one of, the, one of the richest empires in the country. They tell me that at one time, every year he was buying about 10,000 Arabian steed, the Arabian stallions. Almost everything that they bred there, he bought it. And for a few years, he bought all the cannons that the Portuguese uh, forged in their country. So that's how rich he was. And uh, the poetry and the literature describes that along with uh, vegetable markets, there were heaps of uh, gold nuggets and diamonds being sold in Vijayanagar and Hampi was the capital. Unfortunately, after uh, much resistance for nearly twenty plus years, uh, it succumbed to the attacks and it was fully ransacked by the... Uh, I forget his name, a Muslim king who came and completely ransacked and destroyed the whole place. But still, even as ruins, if you go there today, you will be deeply impressed. It's in Hampi. So, here I am with my forefather, <laughs> long time ago, uh, five centuries ago. But uh, in our families, there were endless amount of stories about him and his valor and his, and his romance and his every kind of story around him. And of course, Tenali Ramakrishna is very much a part of it. Tenali is also somewhere close by here. And uh, it's great to be here in the presence of Krishna Devaraya, we are in Penugunda. Thank you very much.